guys. It's a little impromptu, but I am going to do a Facebook Live. Um, so the reason why is because I'm bored. Hi, Lonnie. Do you remember um, when I did my last Facebook Live? Um, we were doing the African Violets I was showing you guys. So, hi, happy Sunday. Um, I wanted to show you an update on um, what the African violets look like now. Do you remember last time? I wrote the date. It was April 19th. So that's actually my friend Christine's uh, birthday. Goo, if you're watching, um, yeah, shout out to you. That was the day we um, propagated the African violets and we put them in the Ziploc bag. So. Since April 19th, today is June 14th, so it's almost been two months. So I wanted to show you what the African violets look like. So I haven't watered it at all, so it's been in this Ziploc bag, and I haven't watered it at all. So what's cool is um, it just creates this condensation and it keeps all of the plants um, Oh, you're in portrait mode, I have to turn. Oh, should I turn? Um, I don't know, I think you have to turn your iPad, Lenny. Should I turn it this way? Do I need to turn it like that way? But if I do it that way, is that better? Is portrait better or should I do landscape? I don't know. Is it better? Mm, I'm waiting. Is it better portrait or should I go back sideways? Yes, what? Yes, go back to the other way or go back to, or stay this way? Hi, Jenny. Hi, Denise. Oh, it's better portrait? All right, I'll keep it portrait. So I wanted to give you an update on the last time I did a Facebook Live because again, it's Sunday and I'm bored. Um, James and Andrew are out at Ikea. Oh, portrait is better. Thanks, Ruth. Thank you. Okay, so April 19th was when we did this last one and I wanted to show you all the different babies that are now growing from these mommy leaves that we put in the soil and I find that doing the soil method and then putting it in the Ziploc bag or some other like dome container will be better um, to growing and propagating successfully the, the African violets. So I'm not gonna pot them up yet. I'm gonna wait until they're bigger, but as you can see, there's lots of babies growing since um, my last Facebook Live and literally just left it in the plastic bag never touched it again. I've looked at it, um, but that's it. So this is the easiest way to do the African violets and propagate them in the soil, put all the leaves in, in this little pot, and, and then put it inside a Ziploc bag. So I did end up buying, I think, another African violet since I did um, my last video. Um, so I'm already propagating more, but now one of my favorite things to use is these little glass containers um, they are yogurt containers. So they're perfect size. Um, I could probably fit like three or four leaves. And um, yeah, so then this is good to fit nicely inside of the plastic bag. So I just wanna give you guys an update on what the, um, the African violets look like since, we, since I last did the, uh, the um, Facebook Live. So yeah, and I've got a lot more going cute yeah so I also wanted to show you guys too what else I'm propagating so since I'm home more I'm actually um, upping my indoor plant game so if you saw my YouTube video on the Monstera um, or not then here's my Monstera it's pretty cool <laughs> So I have a big plant um, that I got from Gabriella Plants 
in Oviedo here in Central Florida. And I got a big plant. Um, it's in the office now and we got it for like 25 bucks. But the cat started to chew on the leaves at the bottom and I wanted a way to see if I could propagate it and just make a new plant so it's pretty. So um, just by cutting it off of the mother plant, so if you watch the, the YouTube video, um, Crazy Garden Laney, you'll see what I did, but this is three weeks ago. So this is a more up-to-date um, update on the Monstera because um, I am recording and those will be released later. But this is just literally doing the same thing with the um, African violets. You literally just cut the leaf. So in this case, I just cut the branch right below one of the nodes. So this was an aerial root um, that was in the pot. So I just cut it right below the node, stuck it in water, and literally three weeks later, you have roots. So that's super easy. So this is three weeks. So it's about three and a half inches long now. And then just this week, I noticed that I have a smaller second root coming from the Monstera that I did. So this is really pretty. It's also called the Swiss cheese plant because of all the holes. And um, yeah, so I'm really excited that I am gonna be propagating a new one of these because this is really pretty. And um, the same time I started the Monstera, I also started to propagate the um, moth, the pothos. The pothos is the uh, like vining plant. Hi Connor, hi Heather, hi Shada. So I'm just doing an update to uh, my last Facebook Live because I'm bored when I um, propagated the African violets. So I just did an update where I've got lots of babies. So um, three weeks ago I also started, other than the Monstera, I started to propagate the pothos. So the pothos is that, um, I don't know, my grandmother had the plant. It, it's just a, a vining plant and I propagated these. And I have this little propagation station. Isn't it cute? It's super cute. I got it at Joann's. Um, not at Joann's, I got it online. I saw it, it was like $7.49 also on my um, uh, YouTube video that I did. And um, it was online, it was like $7.50, something like that. And then um, I paid for the shipping, so it was still like cheaper than I wanted. I would have paid for it anyway. So it's a cute, super cute uh, propagation station. Just perfect, yeah. You want and need that Monstera. I know, so like when you buy one, uh, propagating is just an easy way to like make more plants for free. So um, yeah. Anyway, so you can propagate plants like super easy just by taking a cutting and then just putting it in water. That's like, that's it. That's it. I mean, and then you get free plants. So yeah, the Monstera. Okay, so it's definitely the highlight of the show, right? So um, yeah, when I got it from Gabriella Plants, I don't know if it was like popular back then, so Gabriella Plants is here in Oviedo for you guys watching in Orlando and they open once a month. I don't know now with like all the COVID stuff. Um, I don't know if they're still open, but that's where I got my plant and it was $25 at the time. So I don't know whether that's a good price or a bad price, but I bought it at the time. Um, I don't know what they go for now. So if anyone knows, please like let me know. I have no idea. But yeah, so from that one one purchase you can make more and more of these and they're so pretty yeah uh yeah 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 so yeah um just having fun propagating because there's nothing else to do what else are you guys doing are you guys doing more planting gardening um, I'm definitely upping my indoor plant game because now I've turned um, Connor, your old bedroom, into my office. So I have a nice um, blue plush tufted couch in there and I'm trying to just put in more plants. So, um, oops, sorry, babe. Um, my husband's text messaging me. He's at Ikea right now and he's like looking for more like hanging plant hangers for me. Um, so let me just see what he wrote real quick. he thinks 
Um, yeah, so um, you have pothos all over your backyard. Yay. I'm keeping all mine inside, so I don't know. I mean, my outside plants, I have a lot of veggies, my fruits and stuff like that. And um, I don't know, what else are you guys doing? Ooh, elephant ear from bulb, it's starting to sprout. That sounds amazing. You're gonna have to show me pictures. Do you post online? You should. You should post on Facebook because I'd really like more of my Facebook feed and Instagram feed and stuff to be more like plant related stuff because you know, there's a lot of stuff going on that I just don't wanna hear about or I'm done hearing about. I don't know about you guys. So if you're watching, you're probably like the same. Just to um, talk more about plants and other stuff, you know. Um, to get our minds off of everything else that's going on. Um, I'm afraid like the summer is going to be like really hot. So pretty soon I'm not going to have like anything else to grow. So my tomatoes are doing really awesome. They are growing like crazy and I'm harvesting like crazy. Um, but I think I'll have to shift my focus to indoor plants. So this should be fun. Yeah. Oh no, your husband mowed over your elephant ear plant. It was four feet tall. Yikes, that's really upsetting, Heather. Um, and Shada says, I'll start posting pics with progress of the elephant ear. Yes, please. I would love to see that because like I said, that's more of the stuff I wanna see on my feed and not like, like I said, other stuff. Other stuff is important, but like, I don't know. I want to see more plants. I want to see more people who love plants, more ideas on what to do, what to grow, outdoor, indoor. I love all kinds of plants. And um, my cousin, Amy. Amy, if you're watching later, shout out to you. She gave me the cutest, oh man, it's upstairs. I'd have to go up um, and get it. But she gave me the Monstera, I don't know how to say it, Adonansi. I don't know, but it's it's part of the um, Monstera family, but it's a vining type, so it's smaller, and I'm excited. Camille, yeah, you're watching. Uh, you love your elephant ear. Mine went dormant last year. I thought it died. Yeah. So I don't know. Um, I do have an elephant ear. It's black. So it's um, it's got like a really soft, velvety feel. And it sits like in my patio, it's in a pot. And every time I think it's died, cause I sometimes neglect it, it comes right back. So they're super tolerant to, um, yeah, to neglect. So those are fun. But yeah, anywho, I really don't have anything else to talk about. Hi Corey, I'm talking about my indoor plants and I know you guys have a bunch too. Um, yeah, just propagating. Pothos, my Monstera, and then just an update on my African violence. Hey girl, <laughs> how you guys doing? Callie's okay, treating you well. Um, what was your plant IG again? It's Crazy Garden Laney, not Lady, Laney, L-A-Y-N-I-E. So you can find me there, and then I also have a YouTube channel. Um, on how I actually started uh, to propagate the Monstera, which is super easy. Um, but yeah, I've got tons and tons of African violet babies from the last time I did my Facebook Live. So, super exciting, super easy. I'll put it back into the plastic bag um, like I did before, and I've never had to water it. So it's really easy. And again, like I have these little glass yogurt jars that I use for propagating because they're pretty and the size is perfect. There's no hole, but I haven't had any problem because I don't like super overwater the African violets. Um, or we could use it for water propagation of the uh, pothos or whatever. So. so Heather, you have an orchid and a couple of succulents indoors. That's all you can handle because my cats sit on them. Yeah, so I had a problem with my cats with the indoor, so that's why I had to propagate the Monstera because they chewed the, the bottom of the mother plant over in the office. And um, I have some other plants that they um, will bite. Um, Connor, I don't know which one of the, Connor and Corey, there was a plant that you guys left for me and they like to eat it. So now I keep it in my office indoors and I shut the door every time um, I leave it. And then when I'm 
actually in the office working, then you know I can watch them and they're not attacking my plants. So yeah, the cats have been a little bit of an issue. So if there's anyone watching later who has ideas on how to keep cats away from the plants, I would gladly take the advice. So there's this other guy that I was watching on YouTube. His name is C Crazy Plant Guy. So his name caught my eye because my, you know, Instagram handle and the name I've decided to cre create for myself was Crazy Garden Laney. So I was looking up this crazy plant guy, which he was the first hit when I, you, uh, sorry, Googled if I could propagate my Monstera. So the crazy plant guy uh, has a lot of indoor plants. He's not really like an outdoor plant guy, mostly indoor, and he has a cat. And with the amount of plants he has inside his apartment, he's in Canada, I think, for the amount of cats he has, or for, sorry, for the amount of plants he has with the one cat, nothing gets eaten. So I might somehow have to reach out to him, but I think he's like a pretty big deal and I don't think he just answers like just random people. But yeah, if there's anyone out there watching and has ideas on how to get a cat not to attack or eat, chew plants, I'll take it. Um, <laughs> thanks Camille. I'll talk to you later. And yeah, I mean, I don't know when I schedule these, so I just, um, yeah, if you guys wanna know more, message me or I don't know I don't know yeah I don't know what people want to see or want to hear about but I guess there's enough of you guys so if you want to watch watch if you don't then don't but yeah anyway cats if you guys have ideas so my husband bought like some sort of spray it's supposed to be all natural I think there's like peppermint in it um, that's supposed to deter them but I can't say that it's really worked I don't know if we're not doing it right we're not spraying it enough because we don't want to spray too much and then it affect, um, you know, the plant itself. Uh, Shada says, check out Ron Finley. He's an urban gardener in L.A. Awesome. I will. L.A. So they're a little bit south of us as far as, like, plant zones. Is he more um, indoor or outdoor, Shada, this Ron Finley guy? Because one of the cool things that I found, like, on Instagram, you can follow certain hashtags and if you're here in Orlando then we are zone 9b so I have a search or sorry I follow zone hashtag zone 9b gardening he's outdoor awesome then your Instagram feed will, will be filled or it will have um, zone 9b gardening hashtags so then you can see what other gardeners in your zone are doing at the same time because people can do all the same time all the same things and grow the same things it's just that the timing would be different so I um, uh, Camille just wants to know more about which where to find me on IG and I'll message her separately um, so yeah if you follow certain hashtags on Instagram you'll see other um, gardeners who are in your zone and that's helped me and I've connected with people in California because in Northern California they are also zone 9b and it's been fun to watch what they're doing and then I get ideas so I don't know everything I'm just still learning all along the way my watermelon is growing a lot and so I think today I mean it's really hot right now I'm gonna have to take my bathroom scale and bring it outside because yesterday when I took my food scale, the one that's right here in the kitchen, I took that outside and um, it read error because um, it's too heavy. So I'll have to take my bathroom uh, scale out there to measure that big watermelon. You were trying to figure out your zone in Volusia. I think I gave up and forgot about it. <laughs> Uh, Volusia, I mean, we should probably be similar, so it's zone 9B. Once you get further down south, uh, then you're looking at, like, zone 10. But I, I'm talking, like, like, Fort Lauderdale south. But for you in Volusia County, I think you should just go by zone 9B to see what your zone is. So... There shouldn't be any too much different because that's like more north of me so if anything that's a little bit cooler like 
cooler, but not by much. So I'm gonna say zone 9B. I'll look it up later for you. Uh, you wanna look up, um, how would you find it? Like just Google, what's my hardiness zone? So that's what you wanna look for, hardiness zone. And that's, um, yeah, you should find it. Like I don't know your exact address, I'm not gonna ask you over Facebook Live and have you post it on the, on the live feed. But yeah, um, look for your hardiness zone and then you'll be able to know what you can grow at what time of the year. So, but like I said, with the summer coming, I think I'm gonna focus more on like indoor plants. I yeah, like this Monstera, I love it. <laughs> it's so pretty. I love it just in the vase. Like I don't even have to repot it like in soil. I would be totally fine just leaving it in this vase. And I think it's pretty just the way it is. So I would propagate more from the actual mother plant, but I'm afraid I'll take off too much, so I don't want to be too greedy and and propagate more than I need to right now. So maybe I'll wait until next summer because they say uh, spring and summer is when they start to really grow, and so that's when you um, can propagate. So I already did it once. I don't know if I'm going to do it again. You know, I just don't want to make. I just want to make sure I'm not like uh, shocking the mother plant too much. So I already took off one branch, and I think uh, yeah, I'll just stick to that so I'm not so greedy. But yeah. I love this, it's so pretty. It's so pretty. Did you shape the leaves yourself on that plant? No, hey Caroline. So this is called the Monstera Deliciosa. Um, the mother plant, the mommy plant, the parent plant, whatever you wanna call it, is over in the office. And so it's actually really big. It's covering almost half the desk. And so, yay. Heather, your hardiness zone is nine to 10. Yeah, so that sounds about right. Um, no, I didn't shape this. It, this is called the Monstera Deliciosa, and this is also called the Swiss cheese plant because of the holes in it. Isn't it cool? It's pretty, right, Caroline? So Caroline, I got this at um, Gabriella Plants in Oviedo. They open, at least during or before quarantine times, they open once a month to the public because they are mainly an online only uh, retailer. But once a month they open up to um, people. And yeah, so I bought this plant for 25 bucks, like, I don't know, a year ago. So I have no idea what the going rate is for them now because I think um, like indoor planting has become more popular. So, and I know things have gotten more expensive just because of demand. Um, so I don't know what $25 is, like is that good or bad or reasonable or about right? And I don't know what they're going for now. But yeah, so I wanted to create more, Caroline, so I propagated. So if you were watching my other Facebook Live, the only other one I've ever done, I was propagating African violets. And so I've been experimenting on propagating other plants. So this has turned out to be pretty easy and then the pothos so yeah i don't have anything else guys so i just want to give you an update on my african violets thanks for watching you guys are always um very friendly and uh making me feel like i'm not a crazy person always talking about plants whether it's outdoor or indoor um, but i hope you guys are staying safe I hope you guys are still spending quality time with your family. I hope you guys garden, <laughs> whether it's outside or inside, um, just to pass the time. And yeah, let me know if you ever have any questions. You guys feel free to message me. I don't know everything, I promise. I don't. I'm just learning along the way. Um, like I've told a lot of people, it's all part of the journey and like, Oh, you're so sweet. You're a joy to watch. <laughs> it's fun. I don't, I mean, there are worse things I've said, you know, there are worse things to be doing or worse things to like influence people by. And a lot of you guys have told me like you guys have been inspired and I never knew I could do that. <laughs> so it's fun. And I want to see other people do it too. So if you guys do it or have questions, like let's do it together. Like maybe I could like 
send everyone some seeds and then we all start something at the same time and then I don't know get on a group chat or whatever I don't know I have no idea it was just something I thought about but yeah hey Preston hey neighbor yep I'm wrapping up here because <laughs> I have nothing else to do and um, I'm just showing how I propagate plants so yeah, you might have to start over if you want to see what was happening. But yeah, I hope you everyone's staying, staying safe and um, I don't know, hit me up if you guys have any questions. All right, everyone take care. See ya. All right, now I gotta turn this thing off. <laughs> Bye.